Hello, my scanner enthusiasts and frequency freaks. Today, we're going to talk about this scanner, uh, mainly the software to program it. Uh, this is a muted in Bearcat SR30C. It's an analog only scanner, no alpha tag, 500 channel scanner. Uh, <clears throat> it's a great beginner scanner for somebody in the aviation or railroad. Uh, so what you want to do is go all the way down to the bottom of the page, look for downloads and ma manuals, click on downloads, it'll take you to another page. If you have Windows 7, you're going to want to uh, download the drivers. Uh, and then right here is what you're looking for, the software for the SR30C. Uh, that software, you click on that, you download it, install it. And it will, when you run it, it will look like this. In the software, you have your banks, which you can flip between. Each bank goes from one channel one to 50 and so on. So bank two will be 51 to 100 and so forth. Um, you can set up your search options. You can set up your close call, which I'm going to turn off. I'm going to set your banks, so you can turn your banks on and off from here. So when you download it, download uh, the stuff to the radio, it will uh, or upload the stuff to the radio. If you have certain ones turned off, it will be off on the scanner. You have your two different band plans, U.S. and Canada, key lock on and off priority on and off uh, your volume level you can select your squelch level you can select and your backlight level you can select so you can manually enter frequencies in here so just doing this again 154.94 as you can see you can also do what I do and I'm going to load this up with Aviation Railroad and my local stuff so you go to Radio Reference um, and go to uh, here we'll just start over Go to Radio Reference, Database, Browse, select your state. In this case, we're doing the aviation, so we're going to go to uh, that. We're going to start off in Missouri. Since it is only frequency and not alpha tag, you don't have to worry about naming it. You just copy the frequency and you can paste it directly into the bank. So, uh, you can also turn your delay on, your priority, you can lock out a channel, uh, stuff like that. Once you're done uh, doing this, and we're looking at it as it's your first time doing this, then you can download, uh, click this button right here to write to scanner, and it will send it directly to the scanner. Uh, you can save your file, name it whatever you want, or just save it. Uh, I believe it goes directly to the documents <coughs> page or a document folder. Uh, for those who are in the aviation, another site you can go to is airnav.com. And I already have an airport selected. And you want to look at airport communications and it has 
the CTAF, which is basically Unicom, the weather service that they have for the airport, and the two control the ATC uh, controllers for the area. So Whiteman Approach and Whiteman Departure. Departure, and yes, that is Whiteman Air Force Base, uh, where the B-2 bombers are stationed. At. So uh, I already know this stuff is. With the exception of this, the Whiteman approach and Whiteman departure, all I have to do is go to uh, a different county in radio reference for Missouri, and I can get that information. So the only thing I would probably add is this right here. Um, so once you do that, you can um, download. You have your COM port settings. So you can auto detect. And for some reason it's not wanting to detect my scanner. But um, stuff like that. Anyways, I hope this video helps. I'm not good at this stuff, really, uh, although it seems like it sometimes on TikTok. But um, I hope this helps, and I hope you have a good day.